All right. This is a tutorial on how to get MechWarrior 4 Mercenaries running on Windows 10. All right. Easy peasy. Let's begin. So all these links, I will provide them in the description of the video. No big deal. All right? We're cool. Everything's nice. So, let's start. So you're going to go you're going to go bleh, bleh. you're going to want to click on this. This will send you to a RAR file. You're going to download this. You're going to click on this. It'll download. I've already downloaded it, so I'm not going to do it again. And then you're going to want to download this version of DG Voodoo. That version is bugged, and Windows 10 does not like it. So, yeah, you're going to want to use 2.63.2. For regular usage, right? The password is shit Google. Don't forget the password. You're gonna need it later. And then you're gonna want Demon Tools Lite 10. It's free, don't buy it. You won't need to. And then you're going to download whichever version of 7-zip you need, depending on your operating system, 32-bit, 64-bit. No big deal, right? Everything's there. So that's that's it for that. And at the end of this, you should have two files, a compressed zip folder and a RAR file. What you're going to do now is extract the RAR file with 7-zip and the DG Voodoo file with 7-zip. So here we go. Alright, there's our folder for MechWarrior 4 Mercenaries, and now DG Voodoo. Remember, the password for this file is shit Google. No spaces, no caps lock, nothing. Just these two words together. Alright, and there we go. We have the two folders we need, right? Everything's cool. So we're gonna go over here, and I've already got the MTX extractor installed. No big deal there. But before we start, let's extract the hotfixes. So we have those in order after we're done. So now we just open the MTX extractor, start extracting these things, obviously in order. Of course, you'll read this from the README in this file. You'll install the MTX extractor. Go in order of all to 28, 28 to 29, 29 to 30, then the hotfixes, A, B, and C. And then that's it. That's it for this part. And then we'll get to the DG Voodoo shenanigans. But until then, let's do this. All right, we're here. So now we're going to browse to these folders. All to 28 is first. And we're going to hit that. And watch. Watch this part of the screen right here. You will see a file appear. It's important to remember where that file is. There it is, right? It's appeared. No big deal. Mech 4 Mercs. Okay. No issue there. It's extracting. No problem.
All right, so there is Alt-28. Now we're gonna go back. Since we've done this already, going to the next one, 28 to 29. We're gonna save it to the same place, or else it you'll end up with a bunch of versions of the game. And it will go again. All right, there it is. Things are reappearing, cool. And now we are going from 28 to 29 to 29 to 30, right? Here it is, same place, again, same folder, and we're going to start. All right, now that that's all done, right, it's up to date, it's at 29 to 30, we are at 30 now, right? So what we're going to want to do is open these hotfixes. And just, they're, they're their own application, self-extracting stuff. Just press the buttons and it'll go. So let's start with 30A. Of course, you'll want to change the pathway it goes to that folder, not the predetermined folder. All right, and we'll hit apply. That was successful. Same thing for this one. Bang, folder on the desktop. Pow. That's it. So B, and then here is C. Alright, apply. Okay. There it is. And that's it. Alright, so now that you've done that, right, you've done all to 28, 28 to 29, 29 to 30, right? 30 A, B, and C. You've done all of that, right? Okay, so now we're going to come back to this. We've extracted this folder already with 7-zip. And here it is. So what you're going to want to do is go into this MS folder, the x86 folder. You're going to want all four of these, and you're going to put them in here, where MechWarrior for Mercenaries is installed, right? Cool. You've done that. Nice. Now you're going to take these two, and you're going to put them in the same place. You should have a total of six, folder, six files here, right? D3, D8, D3, D9, D3, DLMM, DDraw, DGVoodoo Config, and then the application itself. And what you're going to want to do now is just open it. Alright, it's going to open. It's here. Cool. Don't touch this. And don't touch this. What you're going to want to do is just increase this to like 1024, right? And you're going to want to pick a resolution. So let's pick 1280 by 800, right? And for the behavior, you're going to want to leave these blank. Don't check these. Like, they should be blank boxes, right? The only one you'll really want to get rid of, or you really want, is the Force V-Sync. And that's it. Get rid of the DG Voodoo watermark if you don't want to see that. All right. Cool. All right. I'm just going to hit Apply. And I'm going to close that. And we're going to open the game. And it's going to go from there. All right, so I've opened it. Here are the settings. I'm going to hit continue. And then it's going to give me user end license agreement. And I accept. Bang. There it is. So after you've done all of that, the game is ready to be played at your resolution in a window. It doesn't mess with any of the any of the other stuff on your computer. So yeah, 
there you go. It's working. The game is great. I just like watching this, sorry. I was 27 the year the Fedcom Civil War reached the boiling point. The media saw us as young gods, lords of war, striding the battlefield in our engines of destruction. The holovids captured our stories and spun them to the masses. For some, it was a time of terrible sacrifice and loss. For others, it was a time of great opportunity. All right, and here we are. Once we do that, we have a name, a company, a sponsor, and you're in. That's it, that's it. It's excellent, it's wonderful. And then you get to play with all the fun toys again. The game is yours to keep forever. Yeah, all right, cool beans. So, for the rest of this stuff, you're kind of on your own. Like, the controls, all of this other stuff, the resolution you want to play it at, yeah. It's all good. So there it is. Have fun with it. 